What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Seasons. This is episode number 8 and of course today we are going to be starting the episode off by choosing grr, West Ham and uh, we are using West Ham United of course. That was the team my opponent were in the last game which means that's the team we'll choose obviously because that's currently what we're doing and I did address the feedback in the last episode as well over the first couple episodes and thank you for all the comments as per usual and I will be doing some live episodes and also letting you guys choose the teams on every 10th episode so there you go but uh, uh, yeah, for this one, we are, of course, choosing West Ham United. And uh, to be honest, West Ham do have some very decent players. You know, on this game, they've got some pretty OP players as well in uh, Andy Carroll. He's so good on FIFA and some, some decent players regardless. Winston Reid's a great defender on FIFA too. Some decent players, nothing too spectacular, but a good enough side, in my opinion, to get the job done when you're facing a team of a similar calibre. And we do come against Stoke City for this game, so an all-Premier League affair. And the first chance would fall directly from kickoff as Stuart Downing finds Andy Carroll. Carroll up top, fake shots around Wilson and shoots but it's a good save by Begovic and my opponent clears. We almost took the lead pretty much directly from kickoff but on the stroke of half an hour mark Juve gets on the ball and finds Peter Crouch. Crouch finds Nzonzi down this right hand side. Good chance here as he tries to cross the ball in. It falls to Peter Crouch's feet. Crouch collects the ball. We don't really get the ball away with Tompkins like we should have done and the pass across the face of goal finds Victor Moses and Victor Moses makes it West Ham nil. Stoke City won. So some really really poor defending by me there. I gave the ball away so cheaply with James Tompkins and the pass across the face of goal was really really simple for Victor Moses to score from and he made it West Ham nil Stoke City 1 so not good for us to be 1-0 down already in this game but in the 40th minute Zarate feeds the ball in towards end of Valencia Valencia turns his man and shoots Begovic gets something on it but he can't get enough on it to claw the ball away it just about crosses the line and Valencia makes it West Ham 1 Stoke City 1 here at Upton Park so we're back on level terms and that was it for the first half. In the second half, Matt Jarvis, who I have playing right back in this game, fed the ball to Valencia. He crossed the ball in. Zarate won the header, but unfortunately for me, Begovic made a good save, and uh, my opponent just about got the ball away. And in the 56th minute here, you see Mark Noble win this header. It comes towards Andy Carroll. Carroll collects the ball. Double step over around his man. Plays the ball inside for, uh, for Zarate to run onto, which he does. He must score. No, he doesn't. The shot goes wide and out for a goal kick. So really poor miss by me there. And in uh, the 66th minute, again, we're through down his right hand side. Matt Jarvis at right right back, takes on his man, crosses the ball in, picks out Andy Carroll, and the header goes just wide of Begovic post and out for a goal kick. So still 1-1 despite really, you know, the, the lion's share of the chances coming to us. And in the 84th minute, one of the last opportunities fell here. Zarate got on the ball and found Stuart Downing. Down his left-hand side, takes on Juve, beats him, cuts inside and shoots, but it's a good stop by Begovic. And he turns the ball behind. Well, he tried to turn the ball behind. It was cleared away. Came as far as Zarate, and his shot was saved again by Begovic. And then the follow-up header by Valencia went straight into the Bosnians gloves and it was still West Ham 1 Stoke City 1. The last chance would fall in stoppage time. Valencia found Andy Carroll down his right hand side. Held off Mark Wilson for strength. Cut onto his favoured left foot but I dragged a shot wide and into the side netting and out for a goal kick. So 1-1 was the final score very disappointing there. It's the first time we've dropped points since that loss in episode 3 against Chelsea in Division 9. So I guess it's been a really good win streak, you know, regardless of how you look at it. I'm not sure how many games that is in total. I think it's about 12, maybe 13 wins in, in, in a row. And uh, we do unfortunately drop points for the first time here with a 1-1 draw. And as you would have seen by the stats, I thoroughly deserved a win. I played much better than my opponent. Should have got the win, but my finishing was really poor. And uh, that's, that's life. Unfortunately, if you don't take your chances, you will get punished. So we drew the game 1-1, disappointed to uh, drop points for the first time since that game against Chelsea all the way back in episode 3. But there you go, it was going to happen eventually and uh, that's all there is to it. But uh, for the next game, of course, I would choose Stoke City and uh, put them in their classic kicks. I just love using the classic kicks, I don't know why exactly. But uh, Stoke, of course, have got some really good players as well and some OP players too. I think Juve is a, an awesome, awesome striker. Arna Tovic as well, very good skill rating and weak foot rating as well. I think it's 4 for skills and 5 for weak foot, something like that. So very, very decent player. And of course, he's like six foot three, Arnatovic. Really ra uh, really tall, uh, wide man. And Victor Mose as well, uh, on loan from Chelsea. And uh, the first chance would fall here in the 11th minute to us here as we took on Leon for this game. I played the ball inside towards Juve, and I said it was a bit OP on this game, but that was a really poor finish by me there. Very, very bad miss with Juve. And uh, from the goal kick, Anthony Lopez passes the ball straight to Marama Biram Juve. Juve takes it around his man with a fake shot, gets himself inside. We'll quickly reverse step over in a roulette, and a simple finish 
bounce past the goalkeeper to make it 1-0. So my opponent gave the ball away directly from the goal kick. A couple of nice skill moves. And Juf makes it Stoke 1, Leon 0. So we take the lead in this game through Mama Biram Juf. And in the 18th minute, we're through again here on the counter. Peter Crouch plays a 1-2 with Juf. And Crouch doesn't really have that much pace. But he's got enough to get himself inside here. Great chance as he goes through one-on-one. -on -one, but I'm not really sure where I was aiming for there. That was an unbelievably poor finish by Crouch. Yes, on his weaker left foot. But even so, it's still 1-0 when it should have easily been two and from the goal kick again my opponent gives the ball away very cheaply here as uh, the interception is made by Arna Toe which we find Crouch Crouch finds Juve another 1-2 between these two Crouch is 3-1-1 one, one. surely this time we'll finish as we round the goalkeeper nope really really poor attempt on goal there with pretty much an open goal to aim at and it goes wide the post so still 1-0 and after missing two sitters with Peter Crouch, it was clear that I just shouldn't shoot with him anymore. But what Peter Crouch can do is he can flick the ball on really nicely and start up attacks. That's what he did there. Arna Tovic's ball four was cut out only momentarily. Juve wins it back and makes it Stoke 2, Leon 0. So with Crouch, you know, the, 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 the aim for Peter Crouch now was, you know, not to go for goal with him, but just flick balls on. And we made it 2-0 there. Juve getting his second of the game. And in the 27th minute, my opponent had a free kick. He struck it with uh, Grenier eventually after we sort of dragged some bodies back and eventually did decide to go for goal and uh, Begovic made the save and turned it behind for a corner so still Stoke City uh, Stoke City 2 Leon 0 and a few minutes later we win the ball back here again and Zonzi finds Arna Tobic and we counter attacked in this game so well and as Juve holds off the strength of uh, Bedimo here he plays the ball forward towards the run of Arna Tobic Arna Tobic down his left hand side stops the ball plays a cross field ball in the penalty area towards Victor Moses picks him out nicely and Moses does indeed smash the ball into the top corner and make it Stoke free. Leon nil. So very, very nice finish by Moses there as he fakes just around the last defender and the finish was exquisite really right into the top corner. We're 3 nil up and coasting to victory already and there's only been 33 minutes on the clock and not much really happened then until the 65th minute when Leon came forward with my opponent. Lacazette gets onto the ball and turns his man, gets inside, shoots and scores. So he would score himself a goal in the 66th minute but it would prove to be a consolation goal. I've got to be honest, that was one of the very few things that happened in the second half. It was a very, very poor half indeed by both players to be honest but we won the game that's all that matters we get ourselves back on the winning wagon with a 3-1 victory two for Mama Biram Juf and one for Victor Moses we, it means we have indeed secured promotion to the next division and uh, we can go up as division winners with just one point from our last five games I think we've got left yeah so um no four games actually so um Four games left in this season. All we need is one point and we'll go up as division winners. And I thoroughly, ah, thoroughly expected it to get it in this game as well. I took on uh, Newell's Old Boys. Is that how you say that? Newell's Old Boys. Newell's... Newell's or maybe Newell's or I don't know Newell's old boys anyway um, the Argentine side with Leon and I fully expected to get the win to be honest Leon's side is not as strong as it has been in recent years of course but uh, even so I fully expected to get the win here and as I took on my opponent you know I was, I was feeling confident of at least getting a point regardless and seeing us uh, win the division title in this game as I took on my opponent here the first chance would fall to us in the 21st minute and it would come as uh, Fakir got himself inside went one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper got taken down from behind and won a penalty in the 22nd minute. I have to say as well, I'm surprised the defender didn't get himself sent off. It was a booking. It was a definite penalty, yes, but uh, Milton Casco, the defender, should have got a straight red card for a two-foot lunge from behind with about six yards between the striker and the goal, so I'm not really sure why that was just a booking, but even so, I wasn't complaining. I won a penalty, and of course, right now, I've scored four penalties out of four, or maybe three out of three, but it's 100% record regardless. Haven't missed a penalty yet in this series, so I was feeling strangely optimistic as lack Lacazette stood up for this and uh, well what a penalty as well smashed it in off the post into the back of the net and that made it Newell's old boys nil Leon won so perfect start to this game 1-0 up and of course only needing a point the fact we were now leading the game so early on would surely you know give us a lot of confidence as we as we went in search of that division 7 title and a few minutes later another good chance here for Kia's 3-1-1 one one again this time my opponent doesn't take me down he lets me shoot and clearly should have let me shoot on the first attempt because that was a terrible finish and the goalkeeper had a really save but from the corner it's crossed in Grenier wins the header and it goes just over the bar and out for a goal kick so it's still 1-0 but all the early pressure coming to us in this game as you can see in the top left there in the 37th minute we'd had six shots and uh, my opponent had zero and we were still 1-0 up in this game again my finishing was really poor in this game you know 
that's something I really do need to work on as we get ourselves into higher divisions, you know, because in Division 3 and 2, if we ever get to that stage, you know, we can't miss so many chances because we won't get as many, but I was glad we did make it 2-0 here in the 42nd minute as uh, this uh, ball was played forward and the striker, uh, it wasn't the striker, was it? I think it was uh, Grenier who made it 2-0 there. And just before half time, we were now tuning it up. And that was how the first half would finish. And in the second half, another great chance for us here as we played the ball forward towards Fekir, who uh, gets past Fernandez here, beats him for pace, cuts inside with a step over. Then a roulette to be the last defender and shoots. But it's a really poor attempt on goal. And it's put behind for a goal kick. So still 2 0. But we were on course for a routine victory until I gave the ball away stupidly here. And Skoko ran forward and smashed the ball past Lopez to make it 2 1. So what was going to be a routine victory was then put into dispute in the the last nine minutes after a shocking piece of defending but to be honest that was really one of the very few things my opponent did in the entire game and in stoppage time here a good chance to make it 3-1 as Lacazette out muscles Fernandez. he gets onto the ball Rabona crosses the ball in towards Fakir and he has a simple finish and makes it 3-1 so a nice little Rabona cross by Lacazette there and a really simple header made it Newell's old boys won Leon free and we do indeed win the final game of the season and claim the division seven titles we are up to division six we have now won division 10 9 8 and seven titles and uh, yeah things are looking very very well we made some good progression in just eight episodes and uh, we're doing very well and hopefully this can continue as uh, so far we've only lost one and drawn one and won the rest and I think that's pretty decent for us to start with so as always guys a big thank you for watching the video I really hope you have enjoyed it if you have enjoyed the episode then please do leave a like because it is much appreciated and of course it really really does help my channel out and i'll see you for the next episode of seasons very soon